Hello everyone! In this video I show you how to assemble the Tamron 7300mm lens after the aperture flex cable was replaced. Recently I had a client who had this lens with an aperture flex cable problem. So I disassembled the lens, I replaced the flex cable with a new one and now in this video I show you how to assemble the lens. You can find the other two videos links in the description below. Before I would start, let me talk about the tools that I will use to assemble the lens. I will use two kinds of PH30 screwdrivers and a tweezer to assemble it. So, let's get started. Here is the inner lens element and I will install it in the lens barrel. Put back the inner lens element in the right position, then put back these three screws with the white plastic rings. Apply some grease on the moving parts of the lens. The next step is to install the zooming mechanism. The inner tube has pins which are sliding through reels which are in the outer lens barrel. When you put back the inner lens barrel, those three should be in line.
Now this is the most difficult part of the assembly of the lens. The zooming ring has a plastic part which moves the inner parts of the lens and that should slide into a cutout also. Next to that there is a hole for a screw that should be also in its place. In order to do that you have to lift off the rear lens element a little bit and it snaps into its place. The next step is to put back the four screws. Then install the plastic ring with the four screws. Then remove the white plastic from the old cable and put it on the new cable.
Next up is to put back the autofocus mechanism. The metal gear should go into the hole on the side of the lens. Then put back the autofocus manual focus switch cover. Make sure that the metal parts are inside connects to the gear and the switch of the lens. Test the AF-MF switch after it was installed. Switch to AF mode and test if the focusing ring rotates the motor inside the lens. Then switch to manual focusing mode and check if the focusing ring rotates freely. Then put back the PCB in its place. Reconnect the flex cables. The next step is to put back the metal rings. The part of the ring where the two holes next to each other should be where the connector at the end of the PCB is.
Then I put back the bayonet ring. There are two small holes on the side of the ring, those should be at the connector of the lens. Put back the two small screws into the lens connector. Snap back the plastic cover. Put back the zooming brush and the rubber of the zooming ring. We are done with the assembly of the lens. The last step is to test the zooming of the lens and then test the autofocus and aperture with the camera. Thank you very much for watching my videos. If you find it useful and informative, please click on the like button, subscribe on my channel and watch my other videos. Also donate by PayPal or Bitcoin if you wish. So thank you again and see you next time in another video.